Hi, it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. All right, this was a special request to do the National Guard logo, um, to bring it into design space and then do it in layers so that we could do this as an SVG sheet. I don't know if she wants to put this on a shirt or what, but she definitely wanted to do um, the different layers. So this was from her file and I brought it in and it's just, it didn't clean up well. You can see, let me get rid of the colors really quickly. You can see that the A, I mean, it's just not a clean cut, right? Like, look at that A, look at the, even the lines, right? So I normally, when I'm bringing in files, I really do like to use my phone. I don't know if it's because I have an iPhone 11 and it makes a difference, but look at the difference between these two. Look how much more clean the lines are, the A, the star is not as clean as I would like, but everything else was much cleaner. So if you can do it from your phone, I'm gonna just quickly show you how you would do the layers. I would have just done it in black, clean this up, get, get rid of everything that wasn't black, and that's how I got this image. So when you bring it in, you're gonna duplicate it, and for every color that you want, you're going to duplicate it and then go to contour. So in this case, I'm gonna hide everything. What I want is the yellow, and in yellow was this line, this line, and this star, and the word army. So I'm gonna select everything that I want. Then I'm gonna hide, deselect this, um, the banner or whatever you wanna call it. Um, so here is my layer uh, in yellow, and I'm just gonna change the color to yellow. And then you would do the same for the white layer and see, so then it fits in beautifully. Um, so this was from my phone. Now I took another image, so I'm gonna give it another shot, okay? So let's go to upload, uh, upload image, browse. You gotta find your image, and I think it's this one. Um, all right, so let's see. I'm gonna pick complex and continue. I'm gonna take my uh, eraser tool that pretty much when you select on a color, everything of that color gets um, deleted. So here's, I'm gonna do this um, background here, okay? And then I wanna get rid of everything that's not black. So I'm getting rid of my yellow, and this looks okay. Right, and then we gotta do the white. And we're almost there. All right, and then we have, oops, one more color. All right, so let's go to continue. We want the cut image. I mean, it's still not that clean, but it's better than the first one. Not as good as from my phone. All right, so let's save it. And let's bring, so this was the original this was from my phone, and this is right now that we just did. So let's compare the two. And like I said, I don't know if it's just my phone took a better screenshot than my laptop. See how the lines, they're not as crisp as this one. This one has like an actual like straight line. This one is, it's lost. Um, the G looks a little bit more bent. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. So I hope this was helpful to get your technique in. I would do it from my phone, especially if you have my phone, which is the iPhone 11, again, um, and see if that helps. It's the same process. So I hope this helps you, Jen. I'm sorry. If anyone else has any other requests, I'm gonna try to find a better image to show you how to do this, um, but this will get you through the steps, all right? Bye, guys.